Hello everybody, this is Hollywood Joe with Hollywood's World of Sports with another style and profile and video for you. And today I'm going to talk to you about baseball. It's about baseball is coming to an end uh, in the next couple of weeks, at least the regular season is. And there's one issue that uh, I've been uh, holding back on and wanting to talk about. And that would be the Washington Nationals. Well, the Washington Nationals decided the last week to shut their ace pitcher down, Steven Strasburg. And I got to tell you, this is probably the dumbest move I've heard to date. And I will tell you why. Yes, I understand he had Tommy John surgery. Yes, I understand he's young all this stuff. I get that. Okay? Not not disputing that fact. But this guy is the one of the reasons that the Nationals are in first place and are going to make the playoffs to begin with. So you're trying to tell me Davy Johnson, the Nationals, whoever your GM is. Uh, I don't know who your GM, GM is because it's probably a good thing. You're trying to tell me that if you're in a Game 7 of an, the NS, NLCS or World Series, you don't want Strasburg pitching. That is insane. Okay? Yes, don't, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and knock everybody else on the Nationals rotation because the, the Washington Nationals rotation is an excellent one. I understand it doesn't just take one pitcher, but this is Steven Strasburg we're talking about, folks. The guys should be a Cy Young candidate this year, and you're going to, you know, this innings limit? Come on. The problem, the problem today with baseball in general in terms of pitching is that they baby these guys. You want to know why these guys get hurt all the time? Because they don't pitch enough. You limit to them. You limit them to 100 pitches a game. You know, a certain amount of innings every year. Well, guess what? Back then, there was no pitch count. There was no innings limit. These guys threw until the game was over. And did you ever hear of any arm injuries? No, not really, because that, that was keeping their arm in shape. You know, I've never heard in the history of the game, rookie or no rookie, a team shutting down their best pitcher with three weeks before the season ends and not allowing him to pitch in the playoffs if they make it. And in the Nationals' case, they're going to make it. <laughs> you know, we... Baseball, I understand, is a grueling sport. It's 162 games. I get that. But for the Nationals to shut down Steven Strasburg is a mistake. Because when they need that guy, when they need that fourth guy or fifth guy pitching in the World Series or NLCS, he's not going to be there. And when they lose that one game because he didn't pitch, I'm going to be the one to tell you I told you so. The guy is a phenom. The guy is probably one of the best young pitchers to come out in a long, long time. And a lot of people think I'm nuts for what I'm about ready to say. I'm a Tigers fan, and I think Strasburg's better than Verlander. Yeah, I said it. I I said it. I think Strasburg is better than Verlander. Hell, I think Strasburg is the best pitcher in the frickin' baseball world. And for, a, for his team to shut him down, because they're worried about innings. They're worried about his health. His health has been good all season, folks. I mean, come on. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out this guy has had one of the best major league seasons in terms of pitching in a long time. 
You know, it's just, it's stupid. It's just flat out stupid. You know, the, the Nationals are reminding me of the stupidity of Jim Leland, for God's sakes. Yeah, and that's another thing I want to talk about. What the hell is wrong with the Detroit Tigers, man? Um, they got the third highest payroll in the league, and they're struggling to make the playoffs. Are you kidding me? I mean, obviously they're struggling because when you got a jackass for a manager who puts Don Kelly in at first base instead of Prince Fielder, yeah, you're going to have problems. You play guys like Ryan Rayburn and Don Kelly and Lord knows whoever else you play. And you know what the problem with Jim Leland is? The problem with Jim Leland and that he was such a terrible player was a such a crappy player himself that he he feels sorry for these crappy players that he has on his team and plays them instead of the superstars who have the numbers to back it up Jim Leland let me tell you something People thought that Jim Leland was this great manager before he came to the Tigers. He absolutely sucked. His record was a below 500, folks. You know? Uh, there's so much stupidity in baseball right now with certain moves like this. You know? It's no wonder why teams like the Baltimore Orioles and you know, the White Sox and other teams are starting to do a lot better because they're smart. They play smart baseball. They put their best guys on the field every night. They put their best pitchers on the mound every night. <laughs> like I said, and that was my little rant about the Tigers. But Strasburg, man, I... <sighs> I don't know what to think about it. Like I said, I just, I, I'm, my mind's flabbergasted that the thought, that the, that the very thought that you would shut down your best pitcher. It's a mistake. It's a huge mistake. And the Nationals, you know, I wish them well. I think it's great that the Washington Nationals are going to be in the postseason. But, at what price? Because without Strasburg, they're going to lose at least one game in each series, if not more. You all forget, the Nationals are a young team. And Strasburg, yeah, he's a part of that youth. But he, he's, he's, he's the best pitcher in the National League, if not all of baseball. And, like I said, I hope the Nationals do well. I don't, don't, want them to, don't want them to get humiliated in the playoffs. But if they do, I'll tell you the same thing I've said it before. You should have had Strasburg with you. And, uh, you know, the playoffs start in three weeks or two and a half weeks or whatever it is, and I will be uh, very curious to see how it all turns out because, um, I don't know, the Nationals are just making a mistake in my opinion. A lot of, you know, I mean, if you're the Nationals going against the Dodgers, you want Strasburg pitching. If you're the Nationals in the World Series going against the Yankees, you want Strasburg pitching. Not having Strasburg is a bad, bad thing. So, um, anyways, that's my rant on baseball for the day. Um, I've always said I've been kind of keeping it to myself lately, but I uh, wanted to share my thoughts and feelings with you on the matter because to me it's a huge issue in baseball. A lot of people are pissed off about it, including Strasburg himself, including Washington Nationals fans, and even general baseball fans who enjoy the game. So, with that being said, 
This is Hollywood Joe from Hollywood's World of Sports, letting you know controversy doesn't come without criticism. Take care, guys.